Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Hey there, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Alexis Ashley. Today, I am going to be sharing with you what's in my work bag. <laughs> so I thought that I would do this video because I feel like it's really helpful to a lot of people out there that, you know, have a nine to five, go to work five days out of the week and, you know, need something or more and need something that like is durable for carrying your work things and also some other personal things with you on a daily. I think that this is very, very, very important because you know, most of our lives are spent at work. So it's like, you need something that's gonna hold up and be able to last a very, very long time. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you have not already, please don't forget to like, comment on this video, and also subscribe to my channel. All right, y'all, so I wanna get right on into it. This is my work bag. It is very heavy. Oh Lord. <laughs> it's heavy because I have a lot of crap in it, but I just want to go ahead and throw out there, even though it's heavy just to hold it up like this, because who's really holding up a bag like this? When you carry this bag around, it's so lightweight. It's, it's almost like they built the straps in just because they knew it was supposed to be like a work bag. Now, I'm going to kind of turn the camera down so you can see it at the same time I'm talking. So let me start off with why I think a work bag is so important. Over the years, I've always used like a handbag or something like that, like a, like a Zara bag or something like that as a work bag and let me tell you i've ruined so many purses because those handbags weren't made for like they weren't durable and they weren't made to be taken to work and be able to be thrown like they weren't durable enough to sustain like carrying work things in it like laptop ipad and things like that so i've ruined a lot of purses and it took me to very recently to just finally invest into a work bag so here is my beautiful beautiful work bag i picked this bag up off of amazon i was gonna invest in, into a bayes bayes i think that's her brand by shay Mitchell, that's her brand. I was gonna invest into a bag like that, but I was like, oh, do I really feel like spending like over a hundred dollars on a work bag? No. So I end up getting this one off of Amazon for only $40. I was completely shocked. The reviews on this, I can't lie, were pretty great. So that's why it kind of like made me lean into this bag. And this bag looked like the base bag. So I was like, oh, let me try this one first. And if this one, I don't like how this looks, if it looks cheap, then maybe I'll just go ahead and invest in the base bag. But this one ended up being, it ended up meeting my expectations to the max. It's so top tier. It is definitely a durable work bag. This is definitely not real leather. Let me pull it up on Amazon. This is why I say after having this bag that you need an actual work bag because I've been kicking and throwing this one around and literally looks like I just bought it. And the great thing about this bag is that the bag comes in many different colors and it's actually called a laptop bag. This is the color coffee. Um, that I picked up but it comes in so many different beautiful colors like I actually want to go back and get more colors that's the crazy part about it it comes in beige black blue blue pink brown like a light brown oh my gosh green gray I mean the colors just really go on for this bag you know I'll definitely link it down below and it was actually cheaper than the $40 I said 40 but it's actually for this bag was $38.99 so really really good price and if you have prime you get it um, if you purchase it today, you would get it on Friday. So it ships really fast. Yeah, so this is definitely a must have bag. It fits so much inside and I think that's why I loved it. It has compartments, which is another reason why it made me fall in love with it because I feel like when you use, you typically use a handbag as your work bag, it doesn't have compartments. So pretty much everything just gets thrown in and just falls to the bottom of the bag. And then when you need something, you have to go in searching for what you need, which makes things a very difficult on a day-to-day -day basis and I'm gonna show you everything that fits into this bag now as you can see like it's wide enough it's like here Let me show you it like on my shoulder so this is the bag on my shoulder like I said very lightweight double thick strapping that they have right here allows it to be like like the bag doesn't feel like it's gonna pop from its like bottom right here even though it's being like pulled because of the weight it actually feels durable and then if i don't want to carry it like that i could always do it like this and these straps are adjustable up which is another great thing because i do feel like 
some work bags do not zip up. Well, so, you know, handbags, some of them don't zip up. So you run into the issue of not being able to like kind of close your bag and secure your items inside. So this is how it looks zipped up. Yeah, so like I said, it's a really, really, really good bag. And the fact that it comes in different multiple colors is just amazing. I just wanna show you here what's in my bag from here so that you all can see like what actually all fits inside. The way I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off from my left and then move all the way to the right. So the, like the laptop side. So everything that's in this bag, I use, I think of as an essential, like if I needed to move real fast, if I needed to do something, I could go right into this bag to get exactly what I needed. So in this bag, I in this compartment, first compartment, I have mask. So I have a disposable mask here. I also have cloth mask here, depending on what situation I'm going into. I have extra pens here. I have a marker in case I need to like quickly mark anything. Hand sanitizer spray because it's just easier to carry around. And also lip gloss because who wants to walk around being chapped? I have some extra receipts in here on things I probably need to look at and like take back and some stickies in there of some important notes that I need to um, look over. Love it because it comes with this extra compartment. So I just keep like some, like $2 in here just in case it's ever needed down in there. And so moving on to the next compartment. So you have this middle compartment here. This is compartment I like to keep like my little, um, pouches here. These are things that I could have just thrown in here, but I felt like it would have been better organized if it was in these like pouches. So I have this like Laura Mercier little makeup bag. And what I carry in here is just some lotion from um, Sol Janeiro and also some perfume in case I ever need to just like freshen up really quickly. And by the way, this perfume is by the Daisy Dream. It's not a perfume. And I think that's why I threw it in here. It's a toilet, yeah. And so that's, I think that's why I threw it in here because it was one of like the more cheaper ones. So I was just like, you know what? I'll use, them, use that one as like a freshen up um, perfume. I have my camera bag in here. So I carry the camera that I'm filming on now. And also some things like um, remotes in case I need to take a little selfie real quick. Um, my USB-C adapter and some extra batteries in this baggie. I carry this makeup bag because, you know, it's essential to life. So the basics that I carry inside of my work makeup bag are just some powders. I have two powders in here. I have like this brow, micro brow filling pen in case I wanna give myself some brows real quick. I have this touch up a little pen by Laura Mercier to um, touch, like it's like a concealer. It's a brightener and a corrector. Some mascara in case we need to touch up. Chapstick, another powder, um, some lip gloss and like three brushes. And then like some this is like another chapstick. I just love keeping chapsticks. And then I also have like a hair tie in here in case that is ever needed, you know? You never know. And so lastly in this compartment, I have my little Gucci uh, crossbody handbag. I love, I carry this around every day because it's so small. It literally fits into the bag so well. And I, if I ever need to run somewhere without, and I don't want to carry this big bag, what I'll do is just transfer everything into this one. I typically in here though, keep my, my little, um, YSL card holder wallet and also my keys. And because my car is like keyless, Start. I can just keep the keys in the bag all day and never really have to touch them. So it works out perfectly, especially when I grab the bag. Everything that's in here, I know I can just like grab and go, you know, pretty much. So you see how like easily that fits into this compartment. Moving on to the next compartment, it's like a zipper compartment, which I feel like is great because these are like things that you don't really want people to see because it's just like, it's like wires and stuff. So I, I carry my external hard drive with the USB-C, uh, with the extra adapter in here. This is like stuff I don't want people to see because it's like cords and stuff. I hate cords. I hate them hanging around. So that's why I just like to keep that in that closed compartment. I also keep my AirPods in here. I don't have to keep them in this compartment. I actually can move them back here because I do tend to grab for the AirPods every day. So it's not really helpful for them to be inside of there. I have this like baggie of screws that I need to go to Home Depot and grab some more screws. So just keeping that in there because it's kind of ugly and I don't want anyone to see it. Moving on to the next compartment. So the, the what's cool about this bag is because it comes with like, what I think of is like cup holders. I don't know if you can see the little net right here, but 
On one side, I carry my umbrella because you always need an umbrella handy, especially in Houston, because it will bust out and rain on you and just, just ruin your day, <laughs> especially when you don't have an umbrella. It has another compartment on this side, so if I ever wanted to put like a water bottle or something like that in here, I could do so. I always like to carry a yellow legal pad, just if I need to run some quick notes. So that's what you see right here. And then I have like these labels here for work. And then I have a notebook to like kind of put like um, some kind of future to do things in this book. That's pretty much everything that's in this compartment. Moving on to the next compartment. The one th reason why I love this bag so much, it actually has a iPad compartment. I keep my iPad in here and it literally just fits inside so perfectly. Moving on to the next compartment, which is the last compartment in the bag, I carry my laptop on a daily. I just put that in this last compartment here. Everything literally has its own compartment. Everything has its like own compartment, especially for the things that are like very, that need to be secured. Like your iPad and your laptop definitely always needs to be on the cushiony side because it protects your, you know, electronics. Um, so yeah, that's why I love this bag so much because you have compartments and so I'm able to keep it very neat on a daily and it doesn't allow everything to get junky. I'm not digging and scratching for things. It's like I know exactly where everything is at in this bag, which is what makes it so freaking amazing because it's literally like my lifeline in this bag. <laughs> it's just it's just great. It's really, really great. All right, so that's pretty much it. That is everything that's in my work bag. I definitely recommend this work bag, especially if you're looking for something durable. That is definitely one that I would recommend. Thank you all for watching today. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to leave them down below. Until next time, y'all, I'll see you later. Bye. Peace.